In this chapter of Intermediate SolidWorks Features, we are going to begin by covering a command called Linear Pattern. Now the Linear Pattern command will pattern features, faces, and bodies in one or two linear directions. But to begin, if you would like to work along with me, the part you see in the screen is also called Linear Pattern and can be found in your Working Files folder. Now the Linear Pattern feature can be activated by going to the Insert pull-down menu, Pattern Mirror, and then selecting Linear Pattern. Or you can go straight to the Features ribbon and select the command from the ribbon. Now once I select the Linear Pattern feature, notice the Property Manager opens, and at the very top of the Property Manager, I have Direction 1 and Direction 2. Myself, I always like to select the Features to Pattern first. That way you see the preview update on the screen as you make other changes in the property manager. So I am going to begin by selecting inside of the features to pattern window and then going out to the screen and selecting the feature. Now going back to the property manager and working from the top down, notice under direction one, I have a window for pattern direction. I'm gonna select inside of this window and then go back out to the screen and select this edge here. Now once I do that, you see a preview appear in the screen. Now if that pattern was headed off in the wrong direction, we do have an arrow here to reverse direction, or you can go back to the property manager and select the reverse direction button. Right below the pattern direction, we have spacing. I'm gonna select inside of this window and increase the spacing to 100. Right below that, we have number of instances. Now on the screen, you see this tag here. You can also change the spacing and the instances in the tag. The next part of the property manager is direction two. And because I want to pattern this feature in this direction, I will select inside of this window and then go back out to the screen and select this linear edge. And again, you see a preview. Now inside of direction two, notice we have an option for pattern seed only. If I put a check mark here, what this refers to when you see the word seed is the original geometry or the original feature. So if I increase the spacing to 100, notice only the original feature is being patterned. I am going to uncheck the pattern seed only and notice it is now patterned across the entire part. Moving down the property manager, I have instances to skip. And like I mentioned earlier, I do not want any instances in this area here. So I am going to select inside of instances to skip, activate the window, go back out to the screen, and select the little dot that appears inside of each one of those instances. Now, if at a later time you want to place those instances back into your model, you simply click the same dot and it reappears. I am now gonna close out of the Linear Pattern Property Manager, and there you have a pattern of holes across the face of the part.